Hey fam, hey. I got three awesome crafts off my crafting bucket list. Stay right till the end. You do not want to miss a thing. Easy peasy. Let's go. DIY number one. I took some old jam jars and cleaned them up and then I used chalk paint to paint them. There is a ton of texture on here. You can see the paint lines, you can see some of the glue on the jar, and it looks amazing. The texture is good. <laughs> I love texture, so that doesn't bother me at all. I wasn't really feeling this color, so I just took some old acrylic paints, um, kind of a cream color and a white, and just went right over it. These. I'm going to add these embellishments. There's a crown and a bee and some flowers. Dear Diary, today I'm taking inspiration from five strong, creative, and amazing women. The first one is Indiana Jones. Annie is a good friend of mine and Man, she is so positive and creative, and she's a workhorse. Like, I'm telling you, she gets it done. I don't know, she works full time. She has YouTube full time. She has kids, she's a mom. And she's so creative, and like she's up to like midnight or one in the morning trying to get it all done. DIY number two. It is a hexagon shelf. OMG. Annalee. Annalee Ashby is amazing. She is so inspirational and she's definitely the best version of herself. She pays it forward. And she's a woodworker. Hello. Whoop, whoop. Okay. I'm trying to put the compound miter saw at 30 degrees. There's that blue handle on the back. You have to loosen that off. And then you have to pull, pull the little blue knob at the front. You have to pull that out and you have to move it to 30 degrees. It's pretty tricky because it's very dirty and dusty and it probably needs some W5 or what is it? DW5? Anyway, it needs some lube. That's what it needs is some lube. So I had to get Hupster to help me get that 30 degree angle. You want the main angle is a 90 degree, but the compound angle is 30 degrees and you have to cut six pieces. So you cut the first one and then I did a stop cut. So they're roughly seven inches long but they're all the same length. So you need that stop cut. You need that board there so that they're all the same length. And you just cut it and then you flip the board. Flip it, Sandy, Sandy. Up, uh, up, uh, there we go. Yes, flip it and then cut it. Line it up and then cut it. And when we were trying to get to that 30 degrees, it's very dusty and dirty. You couldn't see the numbers very good. And we didn't have our readers. So in the end, this wasn't a true 30 degree angle. And it kind of made my shelf wonky. But hey, it got done. Done is better than perfect. 
And now I know to get my readers and actually do a better angle. So here's a, here's a better shot. So you just flip the board, you line it up, and then you cut it. So they're all the same uniform cut. And if they were all 30 degree uniform cuts, that would have even been better. I took my palm sander and I sanded down all the sides. The front, back, edges, some of it ripped out, um, little rip outs, sanded it all down. Next, I'll be getting the air compressor out. I'll show you how I plug it in and turn it on. There's a switch to turn it on. You have to add the air nailer and then I'm just putting in these one inch um, nails. You have to take, I think there was two or three inch nails in there. They were too big. Yeah, and this trick, taping them all together, using masking tape or painter's tape, the six pieces together and then roll them and then air nail them, game changer. I didn't get, I didn't have to get my hupster to hold it for me or he would just take over. So I'm so excited. I got to do it myself. You add some glue there and then you roll it and you put a little air nail in it. Um, now mine was a little bit wonky, so you're going to see me. Okay. I edited this. There is some spots where it was not working out. So it's not quite this easy. I figured out, I figured out later that if I lay it down on, on its, on its side, it's way easier than trying to roll it into the air and trying to, there, that, that's a better angle. That is where you want to work from. And you just air nail it and then you are done. You remove the tape and you're done. And then you're going to see me, um, I'm just going to use my, my homemade chalk paint. If you missed how to make chalk paint, I will leave a link above. Whoop. Check it out and you don't have to spend a lot of money and make your own chalk paint. I used a chippy brush and homemade chalk paint. Dear Diary, today I'm participating in Here's Your Crown, Women Supporting Women. These are creative women. They all have YouTube channels and they are so helpful, so inspiring. They pay it forward. The host is Connie at Connie's Nails and Creative. And the co-host is Devin, Devin, the freckled mom. <laughs> These ladies are so inspiring, so motivating. They pay it forward. I am proud to call them friends. I surround myself with all of these strong women because that's what life is about. Supporting, paying it forward, being the best version of yourself. Life is short. You do not want no drama in there. And none of these ladies are about the drama. They're all amazing women. I'm taking my chippy brush that my dog Ella chewed. Ella. And I'm just lightly putting on my homemade chalk paint. I don't want full coverage. I just want it distressed. DIY number three. Wood signs. Round wood signs. My go-to is Sammy at Unicorn Dust Designs and Leon Epp at DIY Beauty on Purpose. Amazing women, caring, giving, pay it forward, good friends. These two women have it going on. They are so creative. And Leon Epp, hello. Her woodworking skills are off the charts. Love them both. Made a round wood sign. I think you're going to enjoy it. So. Today is a big challenge. My fifth one, last but not least, and in no particular order, Heidi Sambel. Hello! 
That girl is busy. She has four channels and she pays it forward. She really inspires, motivates, and pays it forward to us little channels. She has an amazing channel. Today, let's get ready to rumble. Today is Heidi Sambo's Creative Champion Contest. It's round four. It's down to the wire. And it is amazing. She brings in these channels and they compete against each other. You get to vote. Who moves on to the next round? Well, we are down to the wire. Leonep of DIY Beauty on Leonep of DIY Beauty on Purpose and Sammy of Unicorn Dust Designs are in the finals. They are competing head to head. Uh, I don't even know. It's gonna be a it's gonna be a tough go, and it's today. I will link the video down below. You do not want to miss them going head to head. And the winner is announced on Tuesday. So I will link Heidi's channel. I will link the competition. And don't forget to check on Tuesday who takes home the crown. Love it. Are strong, powerful, motivating, and inspiring. I surround myself with them because I'm always striving to be the best version of myself. And these women are definitely the best version of themselves. They're caring, they're giving, they uplift and help small channels like mine. Like I'm a nobody compared to them, but they don't care. They embrace you and there's no secrets they just give and give and give and they've been there and done that and they just pay it forward and help little channels like mine. So I love them all and I think you're gonna too.
I'm so glad you joined me today. Thanks for smashing my subscribe button, ringing my bell, and chatting you, me, down below. Man, YouTube loves that crap. Yeah, and when we chat, they show more people. I get more viewers. So thanks for helping me out. Love you, bye.